Willowbrook. Welcome to our Daily Devo. It comes out of Genesis chapter 11. Just to kind of set the stage for you, we've already seen the flood with Noah and his family. And in the beginning of chapter 11, we had the story of the Tower of Babel, where the people came together and said, hey, let's make a name for ourselves. And God said, no, that's not the plan. And so he dispersed them. And that's where we come to today in chapter 11, verse 10. And the first section of chapter 11, we're going to see uh, 10, 10 generations of, of family uh, that traces all the way from Shem, who was one of Noah's three sons, all the way to Abram. And in this uh, period of time of the 10 generations, we're looking at approximately uh, just under 300 years. It gives us a marker uh, that Shem had had his first son uh, two years after the flood. So it references uh, the flood in, in this uh, time period in genealogies. And then the other interesting thing is uh, the average lifespan over these 10 generations is shortened uh, by 425 years from the time um, you get uh, from Shem, who's about 600 years old, to Abram, who's 175 years old. The other interesting thing is that these uh, lifespans are shortened about every fourth generation. So uh, the, f the first uh, uh, three generations after Shem, their average lifespan went from 600 years to 444 years. And then the next three go from 444 years to about three, uh, 234 years. And then the last three that concludes with Abram uh, winds up to be about 176 years old. And Abram, like I said, was 175 years old. The travel from Ur of the Chaldeans, which is down here in this area of um, modern day southern Iraq, the Persian Gulf being just a little bit further to the south, um, southeast. And uh, this is also the area where the Tower of Babel was built down, down in this region. And it says that um, uh, Terah, who was Abram's father, along with uh, Abram, and uh, also Lot and Sarah, so uh, move, make this trek to Haran. Now, Haran is mentioned twice. There are two different Harans in this story. One is uh, Terah's brother, Haran, who is also the father of Lot. He passes away uh, in Ur of the Chaldeans, and that's why kind of uh, Terah starts taking care of uh, Lot, his, his nephew, and uh, they, they travel up to a city that's also named Haran. Uh, so they travel along uh, probably the Euphrates River, which is denoted by this orange line uh, on up here. And they're making their way to Canaan, to the Holy Land, where God is calling them. But they uh, get short-stopped up here. Uh, they stay here and settle here before these um, until uh, Abram's dad, Terah, dies. And it's after Terah dies that they... Abram finally makes his way along with Lot uh, down into this area of Canaan. So what's the takeaway from our, our Devo today? A couple of things uh, that I see of interest is one, you know, uh, God's plan for your life just doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen. It's not just one big thing. Uh, it happens in stages. You know, they, they were living down here, uh, following God down here. Then they, they moved up here. They stop here for a while and they move on. That's the same as our life. Uh, it's, it's a daily walk, a daily process. The other thing that's interesting to note, regardless of what happens, whether it's the Tower of Babel, whatever, God's plan always prevails. So even, and even when we make mistakes, we, we get back on track. The answer is to continue to follow God. So I uh, hope this uh, Devo has been in, informative and encouraging, and I encourage you to continue to grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Have a great day. God bless.